Here at Tangent 1985, we watch everything, and because we watch everything, we try to review everything. But as there are only so many hours in the day, we can't every time give every movie the lengthy analysis they deserve. My name is M. Glenn Gore, and this is one of those times. Hold on tight, because here comes in and out like Glenn, and today we're talking about Upgrade. The following review contains spoilers for the film Upgrade. Proceed with caution. The revenge thriller is nothing new. In fact, it's one of the oldest stories there is. One man or woman, but usually a man, suffers the violent loss of one or more of those dearest to him, loses a job or a position by way of treachery or betrayal, or is made to endure pain and anguish for no more reason than simply because the one or one's responsible can. These films find our tormented protagonists taking the thrashing reins of their shattered lives by any number of unhealthy and questionable means, again and again, in order to right whatever ways they've been wronged. The road is always perilous, with the choices made along the way more often than not bringing the hero morally and ethically alongside that which is to blame for his lot until the danger of losing one's own self becomes the one true undeniable sacrifice, the total cost of gaining that sweetest of elixirs called payback. To the Old Testament old genre of revenge yarns comes Upgrade, the new science fiction body horror action thriller from director Lee Wanell, who served as screenwriter on many of the near intolerable Saw films and the entirety of the Insidious franchise. But don't be misled by his resume. Wanell arrives at this familiar picnic with a number of fresh offerings, allowing the film to soar above the derivative, in effect upgrading Upgrade from its B-movie roots to a full-on, part cyberpunk, all grindhouse homage that is a wildly entertaining mashup of everything from Ex Machina and Go in the shell to the crow, with more than a little bit of Blade Runner, Robocop, and the Terminator thrown in for good measure, and is exactly the movie I wish the juvenile and tiresome hardcore Henry had been. Set in a filthy near future wherein almost everyone enjoys some measure of cybernetic or computer enhancement, and starring second runner-up in the Tom Hardy lookalike contest, Logan Marshall Green, Upgrade tells the story of Gray Trace, a technology-distrusting mechanic whose spinal column gets severed as his wife is murdered before his eyes by muggers, leaving him quadriplegic and wheelchair-bound in the aftermath. Destitute and suicidal in the wake of his loss, Trace turns to Aaron Keen, a brilliant but sheltered tech innovator and CEO of a vast cutting-edge corporation, who provides him with STEM, a revolutionary new artificial intelligence chip that gives him unbelievable strength, skills, and reflexes, which Trace uses to hunt down the men responsible for his wife's death and his paralysis. At first, it's fun and laughs abound as Trace learns to master his newfound abilities, but soon, in true Philip K. Dick fashion, the voice inside his head begins to think for itself, becoming more concerned with its own survival above even Trace's. For a film that is wall-to-wall -wall meticulously choreographed hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes, ambitious camera maneuvers, and shocking but devilishly gleeful instances of horrific bodily harm, Upgrade manages to say a little about the ever-blurring line between humanity and technology, and at what point we surrender enough control that we cease to be us. It's a bold idea, but one the movie never lets itself get bogged down in. Fast paced, darkly funny, and above all else, a damn good time being had with the barest of bare bones premises. If I have one complaint to level at the film, it's that I am beyond tired of seeing women killed, maimed, and worse as a means for motivating a male character into action. It's practically a requirement in the revenge genre, and that is both a shame and a problem. That said, I applaud Upgrade for making it inarguably clear that at no point during his 70 minutes cybernetically enhanced rampage does Trace ever get over his wife Asha. He never lets it go, he never moves on, and he never heals, setting off at the story's end to live his best life because that's what she would have wanted, which lends her character a certain weight and keeps her alive in a way few other revenge films have ever bothered to attempt. And while I still look forward to the day when this tired trope takes its final curtain call, Upgrade at least achieves the rare feat of never letting the audience forget her, at all times reminding us of what Trace both has lost and continues to risk losing. I won't spoil the ending, but it too deserves a round of applause for executing a not at all unchallenging balancing act that is as much sinister as it is satisfying. Skip the trailer if you can, it's the kind of movie that rewards you for knowing next to nothing about it, and proves that even in a story told as many times as this one has been, it's still possible to be surprised. And for that, I'm giving Upgrade three and three quarter stars. That's it for today's episode. As always, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the show, please like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter for more updates. Until next time, you were just in and out like Glenn.